this is a quick video to demonstrate uh, how to develop uh, single page apps on the salesforce.com platform using JavaScript remoting, but being able to test them locally uh, without having to send them to the server. So what we see here are two Visual Force pages, or I'm sorry, two pages. One is a Visual Force page running in a salesforce.com org. The other is a, uh, an HTML page that is running uh, locally from my local host and it's uh, running via uh, my gulp task manager script. Now if you're familiar with um, modern front end developing, uh, you might be familiar with gulp. It's a task manager similar to grunt, uh, runs on the node platform and uh, does a lot of great things, really helps speed up front-end development. Um, so we're using it here to kick off a series of uh, tasks that help us create Visual Force single-page apps. Looking at, the, at our IDE, we can see at the top level um, of our project, we have a directory called SPA, and inside of that we have a, a, a folder for each single-page app that we want to create, in this case the sample SPA. And uh, inside of it are a number of config files, including um, uh, those for Gulp, Karma for running uh, unit tests, Protractor for running functional tests, um, and a bunch of other stuff. So uh, this is also the magic that lets us automatically zip up everything we need into our static resource, minifying all the JavaScript and CSS, and, uh, sending, and being able to send it to the server uh, quickly and easily. So uh, let's look at how we do this. Let's make a quick edit to our page. Um, we'll look in our body.html and uh, we will, let's, uh, ooh, let's get rid of these exclamation points, shall we? So we'll, we'll save that and we'll go back to our page and uh, we should see our, that our page is already reloaded and does not have the exclamation points. Notice I didn't have to reload the page. All I did was save. Uh, and grunt, uh, gulp rather took care of the rest. So um, that gave us uh, a quick change there. Um, so now how would we save that? Now if we look in our uh, source directory and pages and we look at the spa.page, spa um, we'll see that it was automatically generated uh, based on what we put in our template. So if we go ahead and um, let's put a question mark in here and hit uh, and let's uh, let's look at both pages at the same time, right? And um, let's put our question mark in here and save. And we'll notice that the question mark showed up here automatically. So now let's just remove it, save it again, and it's gone. Um, if we want to save any of our changes, so let's save our lack of exclamation points to the server. We'll just um, since we're in our IDE, we'll just save and we'll let Maid Maven's Mate um, send it to the server. Uh, we're working on some uh, some um, gulp functions to automatically push to the server using the uh, force.com command line, but um, that's not quite ready to show yet. So let's go back now to our uh, Salesforce org and reload the page. That one won't reload automatically, but you do notice it has the changes in place. So now you know making changes to pages and CSS can be tedious on the force.com platform because you have to upload repeatedly. Uh, using this paradigm, we can uh, make a bunch of changes locally, wait till, we, wait till we like them in our preview, and then send them up to the server. But the bigger question here is how uh, this page uses JavaScript promoting. So when I click the do it button, uh, it's making a JavaScript promoting call that's getting something back via Apex right from our apex controller and if we type in here we'll see it on the screen we'll hit do it and it'll go through the controller and back to us now here locally we don't have a server yet we can do pretty much the same thing right doing this automatic is making our JavaScript promoting calls seem to um, fire and respond so how do we do that we do that with uh, uh, what we call JSR mocks. So this is a very tiny shim library that we insert only in the local page that we serve. 
And basically, our main.js makes makes a lot of Visual Force remoting calls uh, through this syntax, which is the way to do it in a namespace safe manner. Um, so what we've done is, since locally we don't have this Visual Force remoting manager, that's invo injected into Visual Force for us. Instead, we supply JSR mocks, and all this does is takes the callback that you would normally execute um, when your JSR method returns and just calls it um, with uh, a given timeout. So we can see here one function takes two seconds, the other takes one second. Let's uh, see how that looks locally. So this one returned one second, then this one returned after two seconds. So um, let's change that and make the first one come back in, in, in a second and the second one come back in two seconds. And we'll save that. And we'll return and it's already reloaded but let's reload again so that we can see that in action and now you can see that this one now loads after one second and this one after two seconds um, so that's great that's just one of the advantages though of using this approach so by uh, developing locally um, and using gulp every time I hit save uh, my uh, karma unit tests ran making it you know, impossible to um, to break your JavaScript and send it up to the server because, well, if you've set up your tests correctly. So that's for unit tests. But then over, uh, and those unit tests can be run in uh, multiple browsers at the same time so that you can make sure your unit tests execute the same in uh, Firefox, Chrome, IE, Safari, Opera. But what about functional tests? Now let's look at Protractor. So I'm in the same directory. Uh, we're still serving um, via gulp, but now I'm just going to type protractor. So this is firing up the page. It's putting input into the text box. It's testing it, uh, eight different assertions and coming back A-OK. -okay. So this is a technique uh, that will allow you to save, I mean, this would save me hours of time per day and the fact that I can run functional and unit tests locally, um, which is something I've never been able to do on the force.com platform, I think makes this a, a compelling approach. Thank you.